I, I start from the supposition that the world is topsy-turvy, that things are all wrong, that the wrong people are in jail and the wrong people are out of jail, that the wrong people are in power and the wrong people are out of power, that the wealth is distributed in this country and the world in such a way as not simply to require small reform, but to require a drastic reallocation of wealth. I start from the supposition that we don't have to say too much about this because all we have to do is think about the state of the world today and realize that things are all upside down. Now, if you don't think, if you just listen to TV and read scholarly things, you actually begin to think that things are not so bad or that just little things are wrong. But you have to get a little detached and then come back and look at the world and you are horrified. Below the Earth's surface lay the Worker's City. As deep as lay the Worker's City below the Earth, so high above it towered the complex named the Club of the Suns. And now, after two miles, rounding the corner for the home stretch. It's Freda Fredersen in the lead. And coming home is Freda. Where are you? I'll catch you. Ladies. <laughs> Ladies, please. I'll catch you. Leave the master alone. Come on. <laughs> I'll catch you. Please, leave the master alone. <laughs> He's had a very big day. Here we go. <laughs> Where are you? Freda, Freda. I'm over here, Freda. Chantoi. <laughs> You can't escape from me. <laughs> Freda, woohoo! 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 I'm over here, Freda! Shantua! Ah, At last I've got you. Would you be surprised to know that I've been watching you? Mm -hmm. I've been watching you very closely. Now kiss me.
Look, children. Look, children. These are your brothers and sisters. And look here, masters. These are your brothers and sisters. We must clear this area. This way, please. Don't you want me, Freda? who is responsible for this and have their head. Shall, shall I order an investigation, No, sir? no. Do you know who that girl was? No. No, sir, I don't. Sir. Sir, where are you going?
office. Quickly. Yes, sir. Mr. Freda, is... Mr. Freda? You look like you've seen a ghost. Is... is everything all right? What, Mr. Freda? What is it? There was... there was an explosion in the machine. You don't say. It was... What, Mr. Freda? It was... awful. <sighs> awful. Steady on. Steady on there. What I saw... What do you want, my boy? Father! There was an explosion in the machine room. What... what I saw... <laughs> Why is it that I hear of this explosion from my son, and not from you? Go, check it I, out. I, now. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Right away. I greeted the men who watch your machines. But not one returned my greeting. When Freighter. I looked at them, Father? Freighter. Freighter. The machine rooms, with all the great gods. For the first time in my life, Father, I am beginning to comprehend the being of a machine. That should mean a great deal. But you are probably wrong, Freighter. If you had really comprehended the being of the machine. If one comes to you Freighter. as I... Excuse us. And seize the creatures who are fettered to them by laws of eternal watchfulness? Freighter, why did you come to me through the machine rooms? I wished just once to look the men in the face, whose little children are my brothers and sisters. How can one but be perturbed? And what did you find? Man's enslavement to the machines. <sighs> Freighter, avoid assuming people to be good, innocent, and victimized just because they suffer. You don't suffer, Father? You are quite free from sin? The 
The time of sin and suffering lies behind me, Freighter. Please, help the men who live at your machines. I cannot help them. Nobody can help them. You press your fingers upon a little blue metal plate. And your dreadful city of Metropolis roars out, proclaiming hunger for fresh human marrow. <sighs> it's unfortunate, yes. They are all human beings. They are where they must be. Are you not afraid, Father, that one fine day there will be no more food for the man-eating god machine? <laughs> By then, a substitute for man will have to be found. Doesn't it fill you with horror to know so many shadows, so many phantoms, to be working at your work? The time of horror lies behind me, Freighter. Come here, man. Well? You were right, Master. It is some type of plan, but as of yet, Cannot be deciphered. I... I should have known about this sooner. <sighs> this map was found in the hands of one of my workmen. Sabotage, sir. There's no doubt. Joseph. Joseph, would you mind explaining this? Well? of your services. Please report to the G-Bank to collect your remaining wages. Father, do you know what it means to be dismissed by you? It means go below, below, into the depths.
slip from now on. I wish to be informed of my son's every action. Of course, sir. Doctor, what's your name? Josephat. What will you do now, Josephat? What will you do now, Josephat? I, I... I don't know. What can I do? My life is ruined. I'll be forced to work below. Me, Yosefat? Uh, I, I, I don't. Will know. you help me, Yosefat? Will you help me, Yosefat? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Where do you live, Yosefat? Ninetieth block, house seven, seventh floor. Then go home. What will you do? Perhaps I'll come to you myself, or I'll send a messenger. What is your plan? I don't know what the next few hours will bring. I'm going down to the machine. It's so unbearably hot in here. What's your name? Are you all right? Are you all right? My machine. My machine. My machine. Leave it alone. Somebody must and be at the machine. Somebody will be at the machine, but not you. What's your name? Eleven. Eight. No, Eleven. no. What did your mother call you? <coughs> Yorgi. Yorgi. We shall exchange lives. You take mine, I yours. You go quietly out in my clothes. A man called Yosefat lives there. Tell him Freighter sent you. Wait for me or a message from me. Yeah. Do you understand yes, this? Yes, yes, yeah. Here. You'll need this. Good luck. Take me here. Uh, very well, sir. Right away.
Take me here. Yes, sir. Somebody is here. Very well. You can do no more to me than you have done. Which do you think to be more painful? The smash in the skull, or to tear the heart out of the body? A mind like yours should be able to forget. <laughs> uh, forget. Forget. <laughs> I've twice in my life forgotten something. <laughs> Once, <laughs> that Atro Oil and Quicksilver have an idiosyncrasy as regards each other, and that cost me my arm. <laughs> Forget. Uh, <laughs> Secondly, that hell was a woman, and you a man. <laughs> that cost me my heart. Uh, my heart. <laughs> yes. Come. Come. And isn't it worth the loss of a hand to have created the future of mankind? The Machine Man. Give me another 24 hours and no one, Faderson, no one will be able to tell a machine.
Do you know what it means to have a woman as a tool? <sighs> I ordered machine men from you, Rotovan, which I can use at my machines. No woman, no plaything. I need you to decipher a symbol. standing on the entrance. What does that mean? To be taken literally, you are standing on the entrance. Come. This way.
How good of you to come, my brothers. My brothers. Do you want to know how the building of the Tower of Babel began? And do you want to know how it ended? I see a man who comes from the dawn of the world. He is as beautiful as the world and has a burning heart. He loves to walk upon the mountains and to offer his breast into the wind and to speak with the stars. He is strong and he rules all creatures. He dreams of God and feels himself closely tied to him. His nights are filled with faces. One hollowed hour bursts his heart. The firmament is above him and his friends. Oh, friends, friends, he cries, pointing to the stars. Great is the world and its creator. Great is man. Come, let us build a tower the top of which reaches the sky. And when we stand on its top and we hear the stars ringing above us, then let us write our creed in golden symbols atop the tower. Great is the world and its creator, and great is man. But the brain which conceived the construction of the Tower of Babel was unknown to those who built it. Brain and hands became enemies the pleasure of one became the other's curse. The same word was prayer and blasphemy. Men no longer... were the words of those who had conceived it, written on its top in golden symbols. Great is the world and its creator, and great is man. Brain and hands no longer understanding each other will one day destroy the new Tower of Babel. Brain and hands need a mediator. The mediator between brain and hand must be the heart. Where's our mediator? Pray for him. He's sure to come. The way which a mediator must take is long. Be patient, my brothers. Believe me. One will come who will speak for you. Who will be the mediator between you, the hands, and the master of Metropolis. You know what you have to do. We'll do what you expect. Thank you, my brothers.
The sun approaches the girl. Hush. Keep quiet, John Fiddison. Don't you remember me? If you've come to betray a son of John Fredersen, then you will have little blessing from it. Is that all the faith you have in me? I didn't know if I would find you again. Why do you wear the blue linen uniform to mock us? No, Maria. I'll always wear it now. I have so longed for you, Maria, that I should gladly have died had someone told me that that was the way to you. To me? Or to your brothers, Freder? To you. Maria. To you, Maria. God bless you, Freighter. for its own sake, but for your sake, because you love it. Now you must go, Freighter. You wish me to become mediator between John Freiderson and those who you call your brothers. I'll meet you at the cathedral tomorrow. Mediator. I hope so. Till tomorrow then. Now you must go.
If you had come earlier, you wouldn't have frightened me. Now, I pray you, keep away from me and my beloved. You know who I am? Yes. How did you get the white silk clothes? He, he changed. It changed with me. Who did? Freder. And then? He, he told me to wait for him. Wait where? Wait where? The 19th Street. House 7. Seventh floor. Why didn't you go there? The city. The lights. Go back oh, to your machines lights. and forget this ever happened. Understood? Yes. More than enough money. More than enough money. Driver. Mr. Freda, why are you wearing these clothes? I traded with Yorgi. Then, Yorgi is a workman? Yes. I found him before the Paternoster machine. I took his place and sent him to you. Perhaps he'll come yet. He should have been here hours ago. Was there much money in this suit you exchanged with him? Yes. Then you mustn't be surprised. You look so tired, it's painful to look at you. Slim's probably already on Yorgi's track, and he'll find out that I sent him here. I... How shall we obtain money now, Yosefat? That should offer no difficulty to John Freydeson's son. More than you think, Yosefat. Yosefat. I'm... I'm no longer his son. I've set myself free from my father. I'm going my own way. I don't know the way yet, but I'll find it. Wherever you wish, Mr. Freda. John Freiderson's son can be betrayed. But I, Yosefat, a man who has nothing but a will and a goal, it can't be worthwhile to betray me. May God kill me if I betray you. I'll be back before evening. Will I find you here then? Yes, Mr. Freda, most certainly. Thanks. Take care, sir. Don't worry, Josephette. Slim. Good day, Josephette. Good day to you. There is something I need to discuss with you. Me? Very well. Uh, come this way. Workman's cap. What do you want exactly? Hmm? Hmm. Eleven thousand eight hundred eleven. Uh, Where's Freder, Joseph? I don't know, and I wouldn't tell you if I did. You're quite right. I, I beg your pardon. It was an idle question. What do you of want? Of course. You will not tell me where Mr. Freder is. That's quite right. You live very well here. I can understand how difficult it would be for you to leave this home. I have no such intention, however. No, not yet. But very soon. I don't think so. What do you want, exactly? I want exactly for you to tell me what sum you will give up your home. When? Immediately. 
You will not have time to pack any large trunks. You can only take what you need for 24 hours. What? The journey and the year's expenses will be added to the sum. What is the price of your home now, Josephat? Josephat. Women who are not in love are very expensive. The threefold cost of your home. A trip around the world with a woman who wants to be bought anew every day. The satisfaction of every whim. An opportunity like this to become independent. That's absurd. It's not going to happen. It will no. come only once in your life. And never again. The beautiful woman whom we spoke just now has already been informed and is awaiting you with a private aircraft which is standing ready for your journey. Three times the price, if you do not keep the beautiful woman waiting. Get out, sir! Get out of here immediately! I'll throw you out the window if you don't get out of here now! That's of get no account. Get out of here immediately! There's the door. Use I have it. a draft here which bears the signature of John Freitason. Let us write a sum on it. Are you kidding me? Get out! A sum! Double the amount agreed upon. Until now. Well, Josephat, is that enough?
home. I am here, dear. Where's Maria, Rothvan? I sent her to your father. What? My father? How could you? I saw her downstairs. This is her clothing. I sent her to your father. Futura, you know what you have to do. Where is she?
Did you medicate him? Yes, he's rest. Good. Take his clothing and leave. Maria! It, it can't be. It can't be. Freda, where have you been since I saw you last? To what hell have you descended? You waited for me in vain. I couldn't send a message. Forgive me. I have nothing to forgive you, Mr. Freda. I, I was to go away from Metropolis. Do you believe that I'm mad, Yosefa? <sighs> Is there a comet in the heavens which drives mankind to madness? Is a plague coming, or Antichrist, no, 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 no. or the end of the world? I had this terrible nightmare. It was a hallucination. Freda, there's this woman. She was suddenly there, and now everything is ablaze. A woman? A spirit. Her very presence is enough to annul everything which spells fidelity in the human heart. No dance, no scream, no cry of an animal in heat could have so lashing an effect as the trembling of the shimmering body. A dancer, maybe, but a spirit? What do you call a girl who can appear in two places at once? That's absurd. It's the truth, Freda. The girl was seen standing in the window of Rotvan's house, and at the same time she was dancing in Yoshiwara. That can't be. You can see her yourself in Yoshiwara. What's the girl's name? Maria. Her name is Maria. Now, many are going down into the city of the dead, and they'll wait for one another, who is called Maria. Maria. Yosefat. Yosefat. I shall go with them. Come on, Yosefat. Wait. Okay. Go on. And then he refused your offer. 
Emperor Bong has made a mockery of me. John Fredersen took that woman from me. He made me evil. Do you think I am holding you captive here for fun? Do you uh, think John Fredersen knew? Uh, no other way of getting you out of his son's sight than shutting you up behind the Solomon seal? <laughs> oh no, my beautiful Maria. We have not been idle for all these days. I have stolen your beautiful soul from you. I created you anew. Your other self sent a message to your brothers. Calling them by night into the city of the dead. My brothers! <laughs> Which is more pleasant? Water or wine? drinks the water we my are. brothers who drinks the wine <laughs> which is more pleasant meat or dry bread we who eats the dry bread we who are. eats the meat my brothers <laughs> who eats the dry bread which we is more pleasant to wear Blue linen or white silk? White. Who wears the blue linen? Who wears the white silk? Tell me, who wears the blue linen uniform? My brothers, where are your children? Steady on, just a few steps more. Who are the providers? Who are the squanderers? What are you? <laughs> no! What are you? You are... You are fools! You are fools! Take the inheritance from the living and the dead. You have waited long enough, for the hour has come. <laughs> Listen to come. her. She speaks the truth. You are not Maria. This woman is not Maria. What? This woman is not Maria. Listen, listen to me. She is not Maria. Maria look, preaches look, peace. The son of not John Peterson. Be strong, Jorgen. You'll be okay. Jorgen! There is no need to be afraid, my dear. I will look after you. Leave her alone! She's mine! Get away from her, Robobon! Come on!
Do you know, sir, what is going on around you in Metropolis? Where is my son? I've not found your son. What does that mean? You have not found my son? It means what it means. It means that Freder, your no. son, no, is not no, to be I can't found. Leave this. It means no. that perhaps he wanted to look on with his own eyes at what becomes of Metropolis by his father's will in the hands of a few lunatics. It means, as now half-witted servants told me, that your son left the safety of his home with a man wearing the uniform of a workman of Metropolis, and that it might be very difficult to seek your son in this city, in which, by your will, madness has broken out. The madness to destroy Mr. Fredersen. The madness to ruin whatsoever a man sought. That shall be. Where is my son? Where is my child? Tomorrow there will be many in Metropolis who will ask John Frederson. Where's my child?
Where to now? This way. gonna be all right. Do you hear that? It's the gong in the courtyard. Freda, they must be gathering there. Hurry! Wait. Wait. What? This way. Are you sure? This way. Go ahead. This way. I see her. Over there. Joseph, this way. Maria! Look after each other, children. Okay, children, up the stairway. 
Don't panic. Don't panic. Come on. Quickly. Faster. Faster. to become of the children. Come along, children. Through here. Uh, okay. There we go. Maria. Maria. Oh, there you Don't are. Don't wait for me, Fredo. Some of the children are very distressed. Okay, I'll meet you up in the Eternal Gardens. I'll be there shortly. All right. I'll see you up there. Darkness, like a thick layer of soot, lay over the city, and only the cathedral shimmered, ghost-like, a wonder of light, but not of grace. John finally got to me. If I am dead, then where is my hell? Come to me, my hell. Come to me, my hell. I must find her. And I know just where to look.
Chaos Fat. to me. Maria has saved your children. Why do you want to kill her? Save her <laughs> children, all right. Save them with the song Maria, and the deadly Maria, machine Maria. and red with the ice cold Listen, listen, for God's sake, listen to me. Ha, 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 ha! 
Over there, Maria! Maria! Your son, Tell me. they took him prisoner. They're forcing him to son? look on and see how his beloved Help dies. Me. I've got to save my son. <clears throat> Shall pay. Maria and I have nothing to do with what went on between you and my father. Freda. <clears throat> you little fool. Children. They saved your children. My son. My son. My son. struggle against me. You are coming with me. I don't want to lose you again. You must go higher. Maria! 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 It's all right now. It's all right. Nothing matters now. You're safe with me.
Freighter. Mediator. It's time for you to mediate. I see now. Father, hasn't there been enough bad blood between us? Come. Extend your hand. Extend your hand to your brother, Grot. Come on. Give me your hand. My hand? Show your willingness. Never. To forgive. Thank you. 